Okay, so now we are ready. We got everything trimmed and graded, and now we're ready to do the extension, the ends of the waistband. And with the Hong Kong binding, I just pull it out of the way. And on this one, um, what I wanna do is fold it here to match up with this, where it needs to be, where the fold line is here. Now, it may or may not match on this side, because I've trimmed this side, but I didn't trim this side, but because of the turn of cloth, I'm ending up with 3 eighths here anyway. So they match pretty close. And then I've just, I've got this to where I can go 5 eighths and then 5 eighths. Well, and then actually I'm not doing 5 eighths. Here I'm just following that same line. So 5 eighths and then stitch here. And then on this side, where I just have the seam allowance, I'm just kind of pulling my binding out of the way and on this one, I'm just going to leave this folded over, okay? And mine's stitched folded over anyway because of the band. So this, I wouldn't be able to pull out, but I don't need to. So now I'm just gonna fold it right where it's going to, at the fold line here, and get my Hong Kong binding out of the way, and I'm ready now to stitch across. And so I'm just gonna pin that right here and I try to avoid putting pins in this because it's so stiff, it's hard to get a pin in. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and stitch here. So I'm gonna line this up and stitch right along the edge here. And I want it to end up right here. So if I go to my 5 8 I should be just right. Now, sometimes when we do this, you may find that you maybe didn't leave quite enough right here. If that's the case, don't worry about <clears throat> doing the exact 5 eighths, worry about ending up right to the side of the finished seam. So I'm just gonna, and I'm going to back stitch all the way to the end, go forward. Now I'm gonna, I want that to stay nice and flat. And I'm just gonna go right here. And see my Hong Kong binding's down here, so it's not a problem. Let me just, okay, and then I'm gonna back stitch right there. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so I'm just gonna, and you want this to be nice and straight. Okay, so if you look at it and say, oh, it's not very straight, then you can redo it. But this, it is, a, well, it looks a little bit off here, but I think we're good. Okay, now let's go to this side. Okay, on this one, um, you can stitch down and over, but I have all my markings right here. So I'm actually going to start here. Okay. And I took off the little platform thing just because I needed to get in pretty close there. And some people like to sew with them. Some people don't. Okay. So now I'm going to put my needle in where I, right where I need to, yeah, right, basically right there. Okay right where I want my first stitch to be. And I'll take this out. And I'm just gonna go ahead a couple of stitches. And then I'm gonna go back. One, two, three, okay, good. Okay, and I'm just sewing right along that line that I've already stitched. And then I'm going to turn and do five eighths. Okay, so I'm gonna do, an, I'm lining it up real I need to go about one, okay. Uh, I probably went too far. Now I've only got half inch, but that's okay because my extension is a little bit short. Let me look at the, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go up and, and keep it straight. You wanna go straight up and then back stitch. Okay, all right. So now we have that done. Okay. And so we have to trim and grade this. Oh, and look, I got a few stitches into the Hong Kong binding because it went back just a little bit too far. So really, I'm just gonna get those out of there. Okay, and I because I backstitched, I should be just fine. There we go. Okay, all right, so now, okay, so now we need to trim and grade. Okay, so I am going to, 
Now, when I trim thing like this, I just turn my scissors. I'm going to trim it about at a quarter. And I, when I turn my scissors like that, it automatically, see how they're different um, width there? So I'm good with that. Now, when I flip this inside, turn it inside out, there's actually room for this to be inside here. But it gets a little bulky, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that edge off okay and then the next thing I'm do I'm gonna do because this is the side that shows I'm not gonna do what I just did to this side because it's too hard because it's in here so now on this side I'm just gonna trim this side to about a quarter so I'm just gonna take off a little bit here take off about an eighth and then this one it's already 3 8 so I really don't need to do much. But I am going to take now on this corner. See, this corner here has to sit inside here. So there's room. But this whole corner has to sit inside here. There is not room. So I'm going to take off some corner. and But notice how I like to leave an eighth. And then I'm going to take off just a little bit of that corner and a little bit of that corner. Okay? Maybe a little bit of this corner. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so now when I got when I've got that all done, I can flip this. Okay, guess what? It just came out. Remember how I had to undo it with the Hong Kong binding? Yeah. So it came apart. So guess what? I've got to restitch right here. Okay, so that happened. So I'm just going to start over here, and I'm going to go back stitch a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and okay and one more stitch okay stop okay back stitch there we go okay all right so that will keep that because you want to make sure that stays and I didn't get any Hong Kong binding in it this time so I don't have to do anything okay good all right, so we're good now, and I've already trimmed it. So now what I do is I take this and I turn it the way it's supposed to go, because see, it's going to end up like this. And so I've got to get this out. Now, you can use your seam ripper, but you've got to be very careful, okay? Um, sometimes you can use a really strong pin, but I'm also going to just try to get this out here, kind of with try and get a lot of it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna, now when, when you do this, push on the seam, don't push on the fabric if you can. Like see how I go inside that seam? And I'm just kind of pushing it like this. Okay, all right. And then right here, I'm going into the seam and pushing on the seam, kind of the seam allowance. Okay, there, see how I, and just be careful that you don't rip anything. Okay. Try and get that corner out. And this is, my waistband's an inch. So this isn't a really big, you know, wide uh, band. An inch, you can do an inch. An, an inch and a quarter is actually more traditional. But this interfacing we bought is just an inch. So it works. Okay. I think that looks good. That's my extension. Okay, now, what am I going to do with this Hong Kong binding? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is trim it. And I could have probably trimmed it before, but I'm going to, I just want to make sure, I wanted to make sure I didn't trim it too much. So I'm just, okay, so I trimmed that. Now, when this comes over like that, now what I do is take the Hong Kong binding and I put it at an angle like that and I can have a little bit of that come out more but that's because I want to clear the zipper I'll trim that off anyway there you have it so let's um, let me show you so what I do now is I'm gonna kind of pin that good oh and also pin this keep it smooth and I'm gonna go back Okay, so you want to keep this nice and smooth here. 
and keep that at your inch. So that looks good. I'll clip that. I hate threads hanging around when they're not supposed to be. So I just trim that. Okay. So then I, when I bring this down over, I try and get it fairly tight here. And so when I go back to stitch in the ditch right here, it's actually going to end up being about right here. Okay. So that's going to be above my Hong Kong binding. Okay. So I have a little bit of leeway there. Um, and so I'm just going to continue to go down, push that down, grab a pin. And I pinned it that way to show you. Like if I were to go on this side and see, I've got some basting here I can get rid of. But see when I stitch in the ditch here, see where it's gonna end up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin it good on this side, okay? I'm gonna take this out. The reason we put our pins perpendicular to our stitching is so we can stitch right to the pin. Because if I take my pin, if I put my pin like this and I have to take it out here, then it's not doing its job. But if I put my pin in and once in a while we have to do it that way, but if I put my pin in here, I can stitch right to here and here. Anyway, okay, so that looks great. Now the other side, I also want to trim that side. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because I'm going to, when I flip this over, this is actually going to be the widest to the world. So I'm going to do a little, a little bit more than a quarter, and I'm going to come up like this, okay? And then I'm going to come over here and make that just slightly bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna trim off some corner here. Um, and, okay, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna trim a little bit more here. Okay, and now, and see, remember this corner, I can take a little bit off that corner. But remember, there's room inside here for that. It's this one that's a little bit of an issue. Okay, so now with that one, I'm gonna, what I like to do is kind of finger press it and put my thumb nail right there. And then that helps me to get that out before I have to start using something else to get it out. And then here's this. Okay, this is looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, I gotta clip this off, it's bugging me. But, okay, let me go back out. <laughs> okay, let's take off this um, Hong Kong binding here. So I'm gonna go like that and I'm just gonna trim it right along with this. So it's gone. So now I'm gonna go back out and do this. Okay, my thumbnail, I get that almost out where I need it. And then I come over here and, see I don't want this hanging around. So now what I do here is I do the same thing where I fold it at an angle and then I bring it like that. Okay, so I've cleared the zipper, but I've made it look nice. And I'm just gonna pin it like this for a minute because I need to work on getting this out just a teeny bit so that it looks nice and straight. Okay, all right. And then that, see we want that to be flush so now I've got this here. Okay. And that looks, and then I, I can just go along here and pin everything down good. Um, see here I'm, I just, I barely put that through. Okay, see, so I get nice and smooth here. And then I wanna make sure that when I do this, it's not too bulky up in here. And I think it's okay. There. Okay. All right. And then, um, so let me just show you when I get this. I haven't stitched, I'm gonna stitch in the ditch, but see how I, when I get this done. So I want that to be nice. Oh, it even matches up. See, now this is kind of pulling over a little bit. So I'll just, I just have to tweak that a little bit there and just make sure that that looks good. All right. Okay, let me show you. Once I get this pinned good, I'm gonna start um, stitching in the ditch. So the last step is 
to come over on this side. So let me, I'll just start it and then I, you don't need to watch this whole thing, but Now this one I pinned on this side, but these others are all pinned on the wrong side because it keeps this down where it's supposed to be. That's that's more smooth. That's smoother. Okay. And then now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to stitch in the ditch. Okay, and I've got a few little threads that are barely showing that are bugging me. And the other thing is you want to try and roll this seam to the inside. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my needle down right here and I'm going to back stitch a few stitches. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go forward and I kind of pull this apart just a little bit. So because I have a pinned good on the back, on the front, I can just try and get this over just a little bit. And that little groove, I just keep my needle to the side. Okay, and then when I come to this pin, take it out. And you always want to put your pin heads where you can psh, psh, get them out easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. See how nice that looks? Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish sewing this.